Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. And hey, and this we're gonna be talking about meat is not the problem at all. It is not the problem. Hear me out. Hear me out. Why I think the meat is a problem? For me to say it's how can I say this? It's not, but it is. But it's not a problem. It is not, but it is. So, how can I explain this? So, if your meat is processed, then it's a problem. But your meat, how back in that, grandma, eight, ancient grandmas, or great great grandmas, they ate their meat holistically. So you can see a huge difference on how we eat flesh. Um, you do need to pray over it. That's why we all pray as the Christians is to pray over your food. Pray over your food, you'll be great. So you can kill any bad spirits on the food, anybody that makes food bad or any karma that's on the food, even plants holds energy. So when you pray over it and give it light and energy towards it, it will do it will function better onto your body and for your frequency when you eat it so this thing goes to anything you eat it don't really matter pray over it give gratitude and it will rejuvenate to the same energy as you project it before you ate it that's why it's very important to pray so if you guys wasn't praying before you eat it there you go that's a trick tip not even a trick it's just what you're supposed to do before you eat anything gratitude even after after the fact so yeah so that being said so i don't think meat is a problem at all um one thing i can say is the chemicals is the problem number one is chemicals like everything you eat and when you buy anything like processed and you look behind the ingredients most of the food that american eat is not even from real ingredients versus if you see somebody eating the exact same food in another country it seems like they don't give you get issues because of, let's say for example let's backtrack let's say for example um this person was eating the same amount of, same food same processed food in another country and you eating the same processed food as them in this country you have both same black or same woman or um, they the same race or the same gender and you just see like we eating the same thing you know and when you look behind it america got way more chemicals even if another country doesn't have does have chemicals it'd be way less and it's not as much harmful towards the human body versus america america are trying to kill you and go cheaper the more chemical the cheaper the, um, the product is just like how the same goes for makeup uh, lotions that's where you can get lotions and stuff for bank bank for your butt even clothes believe it or not clothes even clothes have ingredients too so if you have like get clothes that have one garment and we get we get it the, the clothes ugly the more you you know get to the one ingredient one fabric ingredient onto the clothes and the clothes just look so simple and black I hope somebody out there in the world that can create clothes out of wool, 100% cotton, or hemp seed clothing with beautiful designs like this. This is mixed clothes, even with polyester mixed with something else and pandex and all the extra stuff. We, we want cut for clothes. We want cut for clothes. And I never really bought that many high quality clothes because first of all, they are, I, and, I, and then with the hemp clothes, they got one fabric, it, but they, they clothes, it, it, it got too many colors. I see blue over here, and I see yellow, with pink and purple, with green, and then I see a splash of orange. What are we doing, rainbow? I don't want rainbow. Ain't nothing on against rainbow, god dang, in every clothes. Please stop. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. But what the point is, <laughs> the point is, um, this is the chemicals is killing us faster than the meat. Cause 
just other culture that eats meat and they thrive off meat and meat has never been the problem it's the chemicals how much how much you overeat it we eat meat in every single meal there's no point in eating every single meal you can eat it uh as like you're not you wasn't meant to eat crazy amount of protein or meats it's just it's uncalled for and most meat don't have as much nutritious as we have in the United States. Um, and so, yeah, so from that being said, it's like, you know, you need to eat nutritious food. Like, fruits is very watery, so it will help you from dehydration. And greens is very nutritious. And herbs, and drinking herbs, like moderation, get all wound. It's not, don't keep yourself in a box like, oh, I think giving up meat, you don't have to give up meat, but make sure your intake of meat should be like less don't eat a whole pot of meat in one day like you know you put all your meat in one pot if you calculate it for real that's what i mean by whole pot <laughs> and you know just make sure that you eat a correct amount and don't overstuff yourself if you burnt you over you over ate uh if you got reflex or got reflex you, one of the reasons you have enough acid in your stomach and another reason is you're just eating way too much food in your stomach and a combination of food also. So yes, for that being said, it's chemicals and how much processed food you eat is very um, important that you decrease the intake of processed food, pa pa packaged food, um, uh, fast food. Fast food does have chemicals, a lot of chemicals, which make you bigger. And you can go faster into the hospital coma heart attacks and stuff like that if you don't realize even when you go to restaurants and especially if it's not organic or high quality then it can play a factor also um snacks too we we don't have to talk about snacks snacks is very bad especially if it's processed snacks we're not talking about snacks as in healthy snacks like oh let's eat a fruit y'all guys call it fruits as snacks so let's fruits is really good snacks healthy snacks um dates like those um coconut dates you know that's really good snacks they got healthy fruit snacks that's made out of real ingredients and real juices and natural flavorings um there's a lot of other healthier options that just look in the back i don't know it's more quality but you get more bang for your buck and hospital bills are not cheap so you choose your heart you either pay for the price for healthy living or pay for the price when you end up in the hospital and chemotherapy and, and all that costs way more than you just paying for the buck now because it's, it's just the hospital bill is going to get it's going to override the hospital bill going to override if you just eat healthy now and exercise exercise plays a big part in your life and i'm pretty sure everybody should know that exercise stay active you don't have to exercise but stay active get up if you at home on all, all the time do something do a 10 minute workout 10 minute workout is nothing just do a 10 minute workout five minute workout i said in five minutes to 10 minutes to 10 minutes to 20 20 to 30 however long you want to go for um and for advice for meat um there's all different types of duration on how long meat digests in a digestive system of course it depends what race but um i'm here to say like for one here's like the top five digestive system that digestive system top five meats from worse to i guess better uh, it being digesting um, that's my mail man coming through so please bear with me um so for it to be number one for it to be worse is pork pork is number one worse way worse to it takes about six to a year to digest in your stomach maybe more um everybody's different depending on what race and what gender gender so pork that's why pork is really 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 bad especially as especially if you're a christian it's really really bad like i, I think all cultures and all religions know that pork is really really bad like you she didn't even eat pork you should not even eat pork but pork is in the number one number one you shouldn't even eat grass 
antique poser animals at all. Um, the fourth one is uh, red meat. Anything we did with lime, lamb, lamb, steak. Um, what else? Uh, I don't eat red meat. Um, alligator, like anything with red meat. When you see red, it's not good, especially for black people. Not good. So red meat takes about six months, three to six months, maybe a little bit longer. But I would give it three to six months for it to fully digest in our digestive system. Unless you don't eat like that. If you eat like crazy, then it will take six months maybe longer. If you don't eat like crazy, it will take about three months or less. It just all depends if you do a detox or anything like that in the sort. Um, the third one I would say is sort of fish. Um, fish is like in the middle. It don't take that long, but it's, it's, it sometimes it does, depending what kind of fish category of if you're eating shrimp, oysters, lobsters, anything of that sort. So it's in the middle. It's not long, but it's not too short. Um, chicken and turkey. I would say chicken is the second one. Chicken is really good for a digestive system. Not the best, not as best as fruits, but I'm saying is it's not bad to digest it you know it's really not that bad just make sure you get organic um grass fed 100 percent grass fed not all chickens are labeled for real grass fed but you get the point that you know get as close as possible to nature as possible if you don't have chickens or local farmers so organic antibiotics free chemical free you know all that goody tissue chicken and then cold turkey cold turkey is really good make sure you get when it's not pumped with a lot of chemicals and soy antibiotics inside the chicken so yes from there um so turkey is number number one you know meat you should eat and i don't condone eggs eggs mess up with the for a female it mess up the hormones completely off if you do choose to eat egg which is organic and it's straight from the farm within the same day or the same week it's organic and, it, and all the hens and chickens have colorful eggs because they don't produce one type of color egg like white or just brown. They got multiple colors. They even come in blue, light blue, baby blue, baby pink, baby yellow, those type of chickens that um, hatch like that. Um, and of course, these animals now is not the real animals that we used to have in the wild. So from that being said, yes um turkey will be your best bet um there's other types of chickens or hens and turkeys out there but don't go to the ones that have been just domesticated or in like crazy farms and stuff like that like stick with things that is not you know normal to to the american society <laughs> i don't know if anything making sense for you guys but but those that understood it it's meant for you um so and i'm here to say the next thing is it does depend on what race and what like if you're african-american uh, american caucasian <laughs> asian mexican those type of race it all it does depend on what race you are if you can be more tolerable of eating meat just like um if you're African in Africa, you digest meat more differently from American digest meat. Digest meat here. Um, we are more susceptible to get more disease if we do eat red meat. Um, unlike other races, they do, but I'm saying that their digest system is different from, you know, black people because we were never meant to eat meat. So you would see that there's more black people that get more disease because we eat, we eat meat. And whites or Caucasians or Asians or Mexicans that's not like us or black or Afro, they not as susceptible to get cancer unlike black people or African or Jamaican, you know, that have skin tone like this and Afro. So even like in Jamaica and they eat like fish and stuff, they eat their food, whole food. Oh, they eat meat, yes, because they eat whole 
food. Their fish, they cut that, they catch their own fish. You see a huge difference from buying your fish from the farmer's market that probably be on the shelves for about three to six months versus when they eat it, they eat it, you know, like the same day as a meal and it gives them nutrients and they got the blood and nutrition and all that stuff is still within the body. So, um, yeah, that's been said. So meat is really never really was the problem is is how you go about things, you know? And I'm here to tell you guys different perspective and, and you know why, you know, here and there, I'm not here to bash anybody that eats meat. I'm not here to bash anybody that don't eat meat. I'm here to tell you guys different perspective and set you guys free from the truth from both sides. Just like, just like saying that when you are, when people look at different things, point of view, like, oh, look at the bad. But when you look at the bad, there's always a good within the bad. Or when you look at the good, there's always a bad. When you look into the good, it's always a bad. So, yeah, that's my point. Is to look at a different perspective in a biased way. But, you know, go by your truth and what fits with your heart and aligns with you. And if your body feels good eating meat but less meat, stick with that. But I do not recommend anybody to go crazy because bad, too much of anything is a bad thing. So, if you eat meat like three, four, five times a day, you, you know you you know you're doing too much. You need to slow down. <laughs> yeah, or if you don't eat meat at all, you're not gonna die. So, you know, it's like big smack them and just you shouldn't, yeah, eat what makes you feel good. So don't put yourself in a box. Don't keep yourself in a box. Be free. Um, if your genetics doesn't allow you to cut off meat immediately, please don't. I recommend people cut, if you choose to cut meat off immediately, give it two years because you're gonna lose a lot of weight and there's called kidneys and adrenals that in it have their certain type of chemicals that you get in your you're getting the chemicals from the meat if you cut off too soon the body don't know how to react or out the access of that meat because the meat has the soy and the estrogen that it be getting it from its source it don't know how to make it makes its own compound without the meat so if you cut off the meat it don't know how to make it so that's why you cut off things off your diet super, super slow. I don't care if it take you five years, let it take you five years because you've been eating meat basically your whole life. So please don't do your body like that. Do your body justice and it will work out because, you know, I just, you know, I live and I learn. I want to tell you guys from a different perspective that I cut off diet too fast, but I was willing to do anything, you know, and that's my transparency from there. And... You know, give yourself some time. It's okay. Um, if even if you do go back, just know, you know, don't go crazy on eating meat, you know. So um that's it for today. It's not the problem. Just go with with your heart and go based off what you need. So I enjoy talking to you guys. See you guys on the next video. Bye.